大家好，我是何平老师。今天我们来练习啊、uh, 中文的发音。Hello, everyone. I'm Sir Kenneth Boyo. Today we will be reviewing the pronunciation of Mandarin Chinese. 我们欢迎来到我们的 Georgia Elagan 国际学校的学生们。啊、uh, ，大家好，我很高兴认识你们。And Hello, everyone.、Uh, we welcome the students of the Georgie Elagan International Schools, and we are glad to meet you all for this session、uh, in this video. So,、uh, if you're watching us on YouTube live, don't forget to input your name in our chat box, in our live chat box. If you are watching us live, or if you didn't watch us live but you still watch this video, there's the comment section below. Please input your name there so we can recognize you. So I'm so excited to feature you this video that I just、uh, created a few moments back. No, this is something that we want to share to you、uh, on how to pronounce the valid syllables, valid、uh, combinations of initials and finals in Mandarin Chinese. So. Again,、uh, if you want to be updated with my latest videos, subscribe button is the key. And if you want to insist to be updated with my latest videos,、uh, once I upload my videos, you you get notified. Why not? There's the bell icon there. Press that bell icon. Okay. So、uh, allow me first to screen share our, our slides over here. Okay. So let's practice first. Uh, greetings in the classroom. Again, remember,、um, for our advanced foreign language students, tata hao, tata uan, and you respond, 老师午安，同学午安，你好吗 Okay, 我很好，你们呢？啊，谢谢，谢谢。Okay, so for our students who are watching us in the afternoon, since we're、uh, we're scheduled for the afternoon, so tata uan. Okay, so、uh, we're glad to be with you back here at the Georgie Elagan International Schools、uh, on my YouTube channel. Yeah, and we're glad to be with you here again. No, so this is the first week of the Advanced Foreign Language course here at the Georgie Elagan International Schools. So this time we'll be、uh, talking about advanced Mandarin pronunciation. So. In this course, in this part of the course, we go back to the learnings about or the lessons about Mandarin phonetics. But let's step up a notch, and we will be tackling more of、uh, combinations of initials and finals. If you remember those, no, in Mandarin Chinese. Okay, so let's go go over to our objectives for this、uh, part of the course. So. This is part of our、uh, first course outcome. Understand immediate phrases and sentences in the foreign language and its use in the tourism and hospitality context. And this time, we'll develop an improved understanding of the pronunciation of the foreign language, which is Mandarin Chinese. Now, we want you to develop that advanced pronunciation. So, for us to familiarize, how do we pronounce the syllables in Mandarin Chinese? And Take note. We want you to recognize the pronunciation of the characters. That's the goal, actually, for this course. That you saw these different characters in our screens、uh, during our slides in the previous course about basic foreign language. Now, in advanced foreign language, we will be tackling over this、um, objective that you develop an understanding of an advanced,、uh, an improved understanding of the. Mandarin Chinese language, right? So now, let's review the pronunciation of Mandarin Chinese. Okay, so let's just go back to the 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 concept now. So 
again, Chinese uh, syllables or Chinese syllables composed of three main parts, initials, finals, and tones. Okay, so initials are similar to consonants. Finals, these are some, somewhat similar to vowels in English. And the tones, it's the way of vocalizing the syllables. Remember, again, Chinese is tonal. So in this video now, we will be showing to you a video uh, that I personally produced by myself. And I want you to enjoy learning Chinese again and in a better way. And in an advanced way, an advanced way of learning Mandarin Chinese. So pay attention, pay attention to this video and hope to see you again after this portion of the video we're showing you in a few moments. See you in a while. Hello everyone. Welcome to Advanced Foreign Language in Mandarin. My name is Da Wei, your virtual instructor. I am very pleased to teach you advanced Mandarin Chinese lessons. 在整个外语课中, 我们想教您使用华语写字, 作文, Through this foreign language class, we teach you on using writing, composition, and speech communication in Mandarin. 希望您能花时间和精力, 学习很多关于华语的课程, 所以,我就很高兴认识你们. I hope you give me your time and attention, to learn many lessons about Chinese language. With that, I am very pleased to meet you all. 在考虑为什么要学习华语时,最大的原因是您将始终有机会使用自己的语言技能。When thinking why you should learn Mandarin, the biggest reason is that you will always have the opportunity to use your language skills. 首先,让我们向您练习中文。But first, let us review the Chinese language. 让我与您分享孔子的一句谚语。孔子是中国伟大的哲学家之一。Allow me to share with you a proverb from Confucius, one of the great philosophers of China. If a man keeps cherishing his old knowledge, so as continually to be acquiring new, he may be a teacher of others. 根据百度的说法,出自孔子的《论语》为正篇,意思是温习旧知识从而得知新的理解与体会,凭借这一点就可以成为老师了。说明人们的新知识,新学问往往都是在过去所学知识的基础上发展而来的道理。According to Baidu.com, this proverb comes from the Analects of Confucius, which is a political chapter. 
This proverb means reviewing old knowledge in order to learn new understandings and experiences. With this, you can become a teacher. It shows that people's new knowledge and new learning are often the principles developed on the basis of the knowledge learned in the past. 在本模块中，我们将回顾华语的发音、语音和语调。In this module, we will be reviewing the pronunciation of Mandarin Chinese, the phonetics and tones. 学生应该进行发音练习，直到他们对拼音正字法非常熟悉，并且不会产生和理解这四个音调。Students should work with the pronunciation exercises until they feel quite familiar with the pinyin orthography and have no trouble producing and comprehending the four tones. 尽管在线视频是听力和口语练习的极佳资源，但也非常需要母语为母语的人提供帮助，尤其是在开始阶段。Although online videos are an excellent resource for both hearing and oral practice, the assistance of a native speaker of the language, particularly at the beginning stages, is also highly desirable. Hello again, long time no see. My name is Mei Mei, one of your virtual instructors. 在这段视频中，我将再次教您华语的基本语音。In this portion of the video, I will teach you again the basic phonetics of Mandarin Chinese. 但是这一次。我们将使用传统的华语注音符号来介绍注音。However, this time we will introduce the phonetics using the traditional Mandarin phonetic symbols, also called 注音符号。您会看到，尽管中国大陆学习汉语拼音学习注音，但是台湾人民仍然使用传统的华语注音符号来学习注音。这些语音符号基于中文字符。You see, while mainland China learns using pinyin, the people of Taiwan still learn phonetics using traditional Mandarin phonetic symbols. These phonetic symbols are based from Chinese characters. 让我们回顾一下，一个中文音节分为两个部分，首声母和韵母。Let us review. A Chinese syllable is divided into two parts: the initials and the finals. 每个普通话音节都有自己的音调，请记住，中文是一种声调语言。Each syllable in Mandarin has its own tone. Remember, Chinese is a tonal language. 现在，我将向您展示汉语拼音和注音符号中的每个语音符号，请仔细听。Now. I will be showing to you each of the phonetic symbols, both in Hanyu Pinyin and Zhuyin Fu Hao. Please listen carefully. P, P, M, P, D, T. N, L, G, K, H, J, T, C, J, Ch, Sh, R.
你听过视频吗 ？Did you listen to the video? 这次我们将教您华语语音的完整组合。This time we will teach you the complete combinations of phonetics in Mandarin Chinese. 请观看 Learn Chinese in Dublin 中的视频，在这里您将学习所有有效的华语语音组合。Please watch this video from Learn Chinese in Dublin, where you will learn all valid phonetic combinations in Mandarin. Hello, everyone. This is Sharon, your Chinese teacher. Today, we are going to practice complete initial and final combinations in Mandarin. Initials: bo, bo, mo, fo, de, te, ne, le, ge, ke, he, ji. 七，七，子，子，子，之，之，是，日，一，五。Finals. A, O, E, I, U, U, A, I, O, An, An, O, O. On, a, a, n, on, er, i, ya, yao, yan, yang, yu, yun, ye. In, in, u, wa, wai, wo, wei, wan, wen, wang, wong, yu, yue, yun. Yuan. Please pay attention. Er, er, er is a special final. It cannot be combined with an initial directly. Usually, it is used alone. Sometimes, it attaches to a final at the end of a syllable. Is written as. Er, we is written as we in a syllable, and when when bo ba bai. 包，班，帮，波，背，奔，崩，逼，憋，标，边，边，兵。不，坡，
Pa Pai Pao Pan Pong Pei Pen Pong Po Po Pi Pie Piao Pien Pin Pin Mo Ma Mai Mao Man Mang Mo Mo Mơ Mê Mân Mân Mi Mia Miu Miao Mien 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 Mu Phu Pha Phan Phong Phu Phô Phê Phân Phong Phu Tư Ta Tai Tao Tan Tang Tư Tê Tân Tân Tô Tôn Tì Tìa Tiêu Tiên Tiêu Tiên Tù Tù Tùy Tuân Tuân Thưa Tha Thai Thao Than Thang Thưa Thê Thân Thô Thôn Thi Thiêu Thiên Thiê Thiên Thu Thua Thuê Thuân Thuân Nương Nà Nài Nào Nàn Nàng Nương Nê Nương Nương No No Nhi Nhau Nhiên 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 Nhiều Nhiên Nhiên Nu Nua Nuan Nhu Nhu Lơ La Lai Lao Lan Lang Lơ Lê Lơ Lâu 
ลงลีเลียเลียวเลียนเลียงเลียลิวลีนเลียงลูลัวลวนลุนลูเลียเกือกากายเกาการกองเกลือเกยเกินเกินโกโกงกูกวางกวายกวนกวางกัวกุยกุนคือคาคายคาวคานคางคือ k e k e n k e n k o n k o n k o n k o n k o n k o n k o n k o n คุยคุณคือหาหายหาหานหางคือเฮเฮนเฮงฮฮงฮูฮวาฮัวฮุยฮุนฮวายฮวนฮวงจีจีจีเจียวเจียนเจียงเจียเจียวจีนเจียงจิวจูจูเอ็นจูเอชีชีชียเชียวเชียนเชียงเชีย九七七九九九九西西下下。
，鲜，香，歇，修，心，星，胸，虚，宣。滋滋，扎，糟，灾，沾，脏，遮，贼，真，争，周，中。猪，捉，追，钻，尊，吃，吃，擦，拆，抄。知知扎摘招沾张遮追真争。周，中，猪，抓，拽，钻，装，捉，追。尊，吃，吃，叉，拆，抄，掺，昌。抽，冲，车，撑，撑，出，抓，戳，吹，春，揣，穿，窗。诗诗杀烧
筛删伤收奢谁身生书说虽顺刷酸衰双日日绕然让惹人仍柔容如若瑞软润一一压腰烟央有用也因应与约愿无无哇。Y. One. One. Wo. We. Wen. Wong. And we're back. And. Welcome back to our students of JB International Schools. You are watching Advanced Foreign Language in Mandarin. So hello, everyone. For those who did not catch up, you can uh, review the recording of this video here on YouTube. So again, uh, if you are uh, not yet subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel. And please hit the bell icon if you really want to be updated. Okay, so now um, just to uh, no, just to review what you have just seen earlier, uh, we just seen the each of the basic phonetics uh, in the traditional Mandarin phonetic symbols or the Tsuyen Fu Hao. And uh, in another portion of the video, you have seen the valid combinations of uh, initials and finals in Mandarin Chinese. Uh, it was shown in Pinyin. So that is actually uh, based on what I believe is a philosophy uh, when I studied Chinese way back in high school. And I got this particular um, quote, a uh, particular proverb from Confucius. No? I, because um, when I was in high school, I, I was taught about um, these philosophical um, literature, philosophical literature from these ancients of China. You know? So one of which is the Analects of Confucius. So I just want you to go back to that particular notion that, oh, you, you go back to learning phonetics again? Remember, guys, I, I just want you to know that Phonetics is not just like um, just way of pronouncing Mandarin characters. No, it's also the way for you to understand the the, the limited sounds of Mandarin Chinese. And just just imagine the, the the thousands and thousands of characters in Mandarin Chinese um, have only this. They are assigned a certain pronunciation in Mandarin Chinese, a combination of initials and finals. 
again, I just I just want you to see that Mandarin is so special. It's a very it's a beautiful language, I, I gotta tell you. And for this, uh, we get to learn back, no, or we go to go back to how we learn Chinese. And I'm showing you now again the quote of Confucius. One quote is in Kai Wei Shi Yi. You um, review the past, review the past lessons, and review the past lessons, you get something new. No? And when you learn something new, you become a teacher of others. No, this is um, this is what I'm showing to you right now in this slide. One question is that particular uh, line from that proverb. One question, it stuck in my mind when other Chinese teachers were um, telling me all of these uh, things about why we should learn Chinese and all of that. And and why is it and and their and their style of teaching to us when we were high school we were high school students, she, our teachers get always and always she will uh, review let us review let us review let us review, and that's actually based on that philosophy of Confucius that you learn the past you learn what was taught in the past for you to learn something new. No, just like we do with learning, with, with studying and all of that, you always go back to what was being taught already in order for us to learn something new that we can share in to others. No, so, okay, so let us um, go back to the charts of initials and finals again. And this one, pa, pa, ma, fa. And the finals. E U U A O A I A O O An N Ang Ang R. Okay, so. You know, these initials and finals are very important in pronouncing the Chinese syllables each time I introduce you to a lesson. And with this, uh, I really want you to pay close attention to everything that you see here in this course. Because our goal now is not just read, being able to read or being able to uh, form sentences now. You are about to learn how to compose, like a full conversation, a, com a full composition in Mandarin Chinese. And again, the goal is you'll be able to pronounce it correctly, pronounce Mandarin correctly. Okay, so I hope you got uh, a lot from the videos that we have shared to you a while ago. So. Uh, in our next meeting, uh, we'll be going back to that slides. We'll go back to this part of the slides here. I, I showed you a um, uh, preview earlier. Uh, to see all these slides. So later on, we'll be tackling again the combinations of those Mandarin phonetic symbols. So we'll go back to that. We'll review the tones and intonation of Mandarin Chinese, the four tones like Shan, um, a, ma, 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 the four tones of Mandarin Chinese. Let's go back to that. And we'll do opinion reading exercise. So I hope everyone has enjoyed this video here. So thank you so much for being with me. If you are, again, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe button is the key. And if you are not yet, um, being notified by my latest videos, why not press that bell icon too? <laughs> Thank you so much, Tasia. Thank you so much. See you in our next video. Bye bye.